Welcome to another video. So do you remember this slide that Nvidia put up when they were announcing 5000 series or is it 50 series? I don't know, 50 series. Do you remember this slide? 50, 70 equal to 40, 90. That's a pretty bold claim. Now the 50, 70 has launched and 50, 70 at the time of shooting this video is one day away from launch. So we thought, let's test that assertion. Claim. Claim or assertion? Same thing, no? Assertion is a little complex word actually. Same, same so let's test that claim, shall we? So the thing with the 50 series is it comes with MFG, multi-frame gen. And specifically it comes with 3x and 4x modes of frame gen. I know this video is all about the fake frames. As we told before, you gotta start loving these fake frames. Starting off with Cyberpunk 2077. Now we see the gameplay. So the 5070 Ti actually when you switch off DLSS and all the frame gen, it's kind of unplayable, which is also the case with 4090, which just about hits 50 to 60 FPS. But the real magic starts when you start enabling DLSS 4 and MFG. Huh. When we only switch on DLSS, only DLSS, no MFG, we get 53 FPS on 5070 Ti, which is pretty kick ass for 4K but it comes with a 41.2 latency. It's the lowest input lag of all the modes that we tested. And when you end up switching on 4X MFG, you get 157 FPS with 58 MS latency, 58 milliseconds. 3X FPS boost versus super resolution, three times. And almost 10 times the boost versus native. It's actually 10 times. That's pretty killer on 4K, mind you. So versus the 4090, you get similar frames at 3x multi-frame gen and 2x multi-frame gen for 4090. But the latency is the difference over here. You can see there's a 39 millisecond latency on the 4090, but almost 55 milliseconds on the 5070 Ti. It does match it. 5070 Ti is equal to 4090 with an asterisk. You gotta enable those fake frames. The 5070 Ti gives you very much playable frame rates on, on Cyberpunk 2077 in 4K at high settings. That's pretty killer. Now let's move on to another game which actually eats up all your VRAM and is very, very heavy on your GPU. And that's Alan Wake 2, especially with this path tracing on. So with just DLSS super resolution on, the 5070 Ti hits 59 FPS along with 89 milliseconds of latency. At 4X MFG, it goes 100 plus FPS, but 106 seconds of latency. That's like a second of lag. I don't think that's pretty playable. Versus the 4090, again, this is on your screen. You can see the latency difference. The 5070 Ti at 3X frame gen is actually still 100 milliseconds plus. There is some base latency in the game itself, but when you get in the zone of 100 plus milliseconds, you're kind of bordering on unplayable, right? So yeah, you can't really go up to the 4X MFG. Probably 2X MFG is fine. You still get playable frame rates and a latency which is still okay. Like, okay. Moving on to the final game we have on 4X multi-frame gen plus DLSS, the 5070 Ti hits 147 FPS with 50 millisecond latency. Playable, extremely playable, especially with all Ultra RT settings. There is some visual artifacting, but I guess that's something with the engine. So yeah, 5070 Ti looks like a solid 4K card now, provided your game supports frame gen. So two, three things to keep in mind. Latency is not equal to or is not the same thing as frame time. Base latency varies in different games. And yeah, frame gen looks to be adding some more latency. Provided it's under 100 MS or 80 MS, you are pretty much at playable frame rates with very less artifacting depending on the game. Depending on the game. With the 5070 Ti, you're best at 3X or 2X frame gens with 144 Hz 4K displays. Probably going beyond that will add latency, which will make it look like the game is lagging. I mean, this is on a user to user basis. Not everyone might perceive the latency like that. In slower single player titles, I don't think it's of any issue. Go ahead and crank up those frames. So yeah, 5070 Ti, a 70 class card is finally a 4K card. So Nvidia was kind of close to the truth. But that we'll find out when 5070 launches. So finally, 5070 Ti is a capable 4K GPU, and especially with games with support multi-frame gen technology. So yeah, that was the key takeaway of this video. So 4K on a budget is now possible if you call 5070 Ti budget. If you're in the market looking for that card, 
get in touch